Audi's entry-level all-electric model is the cue for Retron. This compact EV SUV shares key mechanical components with the Volkswagen ID4, introduced for 2022. The Q for e-tron received an emergency refresh for 2024, which brought more power, longer range, and an updated suspension. These changes were aimed at making the Q for e-tron more competitive against other small luxury electric SUVs such as the Genesis GV60, Lexus RZ, and Cadillac Optic. What's new? Entry-level Q for 45 e-tron model arrives with more power, longer range to replace Q for a 40 e-tron, trial subscription for navigation, road sign recognition, and app-based vehicle connectivity included on all models. Cold weather package for Q455 e-tron adds heat pump and heated windshield. What we think Vehicles don't often get a significant refresh so quickly after being introduced, but the Audi Q for e-tron needed an upgrade. Introduced for 2022, the EV SUV arrived with driving range and battery charging capabilities that were behind the curve, not to mention a jittery suspension tune that wasn't becoming of its Audi badge. The 2024 refresh paid off the updates helped the Q for e-tron go farther, charge faster, and ride better. Still, the Q for e-tron isn't a leader among luxury electric vehicles. Although range is sufficient for most daily needs, level 3 fast charging speeds are well below 200 kilowatts, leading to prolonged stops at public charging stations. Furthermore, cheap feeling hard plastics and overlooked details in the cabin detract from the Q for e-tron's luxury positioning. Although braking performance is sufficient, the Q for e-tron is equipped with rear drum brakes, equipment typically found in low-cost economy cars. Additionally, the Q for e-tron lacks a one-pedal driving mode, unlike many modern EVS on the plus side. The Q for e-tron has zippy acceleration and nimble handling, good for getting around town. Clever storage solutions in the cabin improve ease of use. Even so, Audi's efforts didn't go far enough leaving the Q for e-tron less appealing than mainstream electric SUVs, especially considering its relatively expensive pricing. Next generation Audi EV SUVs are on the way, so perhaps wait for those to arrive. Range, charging and performance. Audi offers the Q for e-tron with two all-electric powertrains, both drawing power from an 82kWh battery pack the standard setup is indicated by a 45 designation. It uses a single rear motor that produces 280 to horsepower, an 81 HP increase from the equivalent base Q for a 40 e-tron model sold last year. As such, Audi estimates the 0 to 60 mph time will fall to 6.2 seconds. Despite that added power, the more efficient motor should deliver a range increase to 288 miles, up from 265 last year. The 2025 Q for a 45 e-tron can recharge the up to 150 kilowatts, not a particularly impressive figure. 10 to 80% battery charging should take about 30 minutes on ADC fast charger. In the upgrade 55 powertrain, a dual motor configuration provides electric AWD these motors combine to produce 335 horsepower. In testing, the Q455 e-tron hit 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. Driving range is rated by the EPA 258 miles. The 2025 Q455 e-tron can recharge you up to 175 kilowatts, which should allow 10 to 80% recharging in slightly less than 30 minutes on ADC fast charger. Q for e-tron versus Q for Sportback e-tron. What's the difference? In Sportback transformation, the Q for e-tron gains a sleek, sloping fastback roofline 
that increases its aesthetic appeal and, thanks to improved aerodynamics, provides slightly more driving range. Features, equipment and dual motor powertrains are generally identical between the Q for e-tron and Q for Sportback e-tron. However, the Sportback version costs $3,000 more than the equivalent regular Q4 while having worse second row headroom, cargo space and rearward visibility. Safety Ratings and Features In recent crash safety testing for 2024, the Q4 e-tron earned the highest 5-star overall score from an HDSA. The 2024 Q for e-tron also received a 2024 top safety pick accolade from IIHS. All Q for e-tron models come equipped with driver assist and active safety features, including front automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, automatic high beams and road sign recognition. Cargo space and interior room Given its compact size, the Q for e-tron doesn't provide an abundance of interior space. Its passenger and cargo capacities suffice, but some rivals have even more. Which Q for e-tron trim level is best? The new Q for 45 e-tron powertrain introduced for 2025 is the entry-level offering but it has a certain appeal. It misses out on signature Audi Quattro AWD, but its single rear motor is far more powerful than last year's equivalent. Driving range of more than 280 miles is the most of any Q for e-tron, too. Compare trim level to trim level, the Q445 e-tron costs $3,800, less than the dual motor Q455 e-tron. Pricing for the 2025 Q for 45 e-tron begins at just over $51,000 in the starter premium trim. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like.